When you think about becoming a mom, like if you say to yourself, um, I'm a mom, um, my, my baby is out there. You know, some people believe, I believe it too. There's a baby out there for every one of us. And so if you say that to yourself, you know, in present tense, like as if an affirmation, I'm a mom to a beautiful baby. It's interesting, like what comes up for you? Um, you know, is it, is it sorrow? Is it skepticism? Is it joy? You know, is it acceptance? It, it's interesting to observe that, um, you know, maybe putting a hand on your heart and putting it on your abdomen as well, kind of getting um, a hit on the type of feelings that are coming up for you. And then examining that because as much as a lot of times, you know, we're in this process of trying to uh, get pregnant, start a family, there's these subconscious fears. Um, I know for many years, um, you know, I became a first time mom at 42. I, I know for many years because I always worked for myself. I feared how would I become a mom and and um, continue to work? I, di I didn't understand that. Or, um, you know, this is kind of being transparent, how uh, I have a very complex relationship with my own mother. And I felt like if I become a mom, is that really going to invite her? Like, is that going to create an open door policy of her into my life? Um, because that scared, well, that kind of terrified me. Honestly, I didn't know what that would look like. Um, People would always say, oh, God, having kids is so hard, which, you know, I, I did not doubt. But, you know, it's kind of that fear of the unknown. Okay, it's hard because there's a lot of work involved. But, <laughs> you know, if you already have a child, you know, it's more than just making meals. It's, it's dealing with someone who's, I mean, learning how to become a human and, and live in this very complex world with complex emotions and there's a lot of frustration and, you know, I mean, it's, I think it's difficult being a child. There's a lot of joy in it, but there's a lot of, I mean, children cry every single day for a reason. They're frustrated, you know, from learning how to put on their shoes to just navigating a playground or, you know, learning how to deal with disappointment and things like that. And you're the guide for that. And that's, it's beautiful and it's intimidating. So, you know, really examining those kind of subconscious fears, what comes up for you, a, a wonderful way is to journal about it. You know, kind of like the artist way, they said, fill four pages, don't think about it, just get it out. What does being a mom mean to me? You know, maybe it means that you're going to give up your life of freedom. I mean, for 42 years, I had my own life, essentially, you know, every weekend, could kind of do whatever I wanted. I could sleep in, I could skip dinner, I could travel and things like that. And, and, and all that kind of got uprooted and changed. And um, so what does that mean for you? Because a lot of us are becoming older moms. And so one is journaling. And the other is called a uh, tapping technique. And um, I, oh my gosh, I did the most wonderful interview with Nick Ortner of The Tapping Solution. I mean, he's one of my heroes. He basically has dedicated his whole life to teaching people tapping. And that's tapping on, you know, acupuncture points while um, repeating phrases. And sometimes, you know, they're, they're the negative phrases that are trapped in our body on a cellular level and you tap them out and it's immensely profound. I've used it, I learned this, gosh, how many, 15 years ago. And what I thought was kind of silly um, has become one of my main tools in dealing with, you know, so many anxious situations in my life. And, and especially when I was dealing with fertility issues, you know, because it can kind of envelop you in fear. Like, oh, my God, what does this mean to me, you know, in my relationship and as a woman and all this stuff and all that gets trapped on a cellular level. So damaging, right? So damaging to your fertility. 
because fertility is a spiritual process, not just this physiological process of all these lab numbers and, you know, diagnoses and poor egg quality or whatever the hell they're telling you. It's more than that. You know, you got to get back to you and ground down and have an open heart and an open soul about this because your baby's soul is out there. And so um, the tapping is a profound tool. I'm going to direct you. It's fertilityhour.com. It's the interview I did with Nick Ortner. Amazing. You learn how to tap. It's not hard. Tap into those subconscious fears. I know you have some out there who's ever dealing with fertility issues, whether it's I'm scared to death I'll never get pregnant or I'm scared that this is that I'm going to have to sacrifice my career. Um, I'm scared this is going to affect my sex life. I'm, you know, whatever the heck it is, you identify it, you journal it, you tap on it, you release it. And that's going to help so much. All right. I care so much about you and I want you to have the, the life of your dreams. Okay. Talk soon.